Hey guys, it's Dad. Um, welcome to Freestyle Peaceful. Um, it's a jump map that I just wanted to give you guys a look at. Uh, <laughs> it's um, a little bit disorienting. Um, not all freestyle maps are like this. If you're not familiar with freestyle maps, um, they're a subset of um, the jump map category, but unlike the jump maps that most of us are probably used to, uh, they're not linear and they're not challenge based, um, meaning that they're pretty much just open world. Um, and the challenge really comes from you adapting on the fly to the environment, which in a way I think is actually maybe even um, a better learning experience than uh, going through room after room where there's a sign saying pogo, so you pogo, wall jump, so you wall jump. Um, here you like really kind of have to really play around and adapt. Um, the spur of the moment to not die jesus all right and uh, obviously like based on just like the sheer scale of this map you sustain a massive amount of fall damage um so just so that i can stay alive for like the next three minutes i'm gonna um turn this condition on and it's just like it's so hard for my brain to reconcile uh, where the ground is even though I'm standing on it um, if you enter third person like it's even more obvious that like you're standing where you should be standing right um, but somehow just like my brain and my eyes like can't get along and I almost get kind of like queasy when I'm um look at this map which also makes kind of like positioning myself for blast jumping like kind of difficult. And then, uh, like that, that's fall damage, like can you imagine? <laughs> so now we are going to travel to the bottom of the world, because that exists here. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Hey buddy! Uh, I don't know if you guys know, there's like a pair of socks. Um. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me. There you go. Um, that you can put on your scout, though, is I think a promotional item for like some soccer game or something. I don't know, like one of those tie ins. That, uh, when you play scout it will spawn a ball somewhere on the map um and i was running around here as a scout before it seems as though it's become Ooh. yeah i really don't know how i feel about where we are at right now i feel like we're stuck in some kind of horrifying limbo the ninth ring of hell um what it would look like if uh MC Escher ate 10 tabs of LSD and then took a gigantic shit. Um, so normally if, if someone were to tell me, hey dad, I feel so disoriented by this TF2 map, I would say, hey son, look at the skybox um, because that'll give you a really accurate um, idea of where the horizon is and all of that. But as you can see, um, the author of this map has taken more than a few liberties with how they've applied different brushes, um, constructed different, uh, <laughs> constructed different um, entities, walls, uh, invisible and visible. So um, I actually feel like kind of a little bit more nauseous than I was at the beginning, but um, I think it's really awesome. It's an awesome map. It's just uh, it's also kind of horrifying, but. Um, just to kind of like wrap up what I was saying about uh, freestyle maps is that um, they're also really, really excellent places to um, number one, explore verticality because almost all freestyle maps I've seen um, have just a great amount of um, differentiation in height as well as just um, a total amount of uh, vertical um, game space than uh, your standard jump maps. So that's really awesome and super fun. Um, and it's also a really good place for you to like record demos if you're actually like a hardcore jumper, which I am not. Um, I am just a visitor in a foreign land. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys ever want to come and uh, hang out and... Uh, <laughs>
you know, try and figure out this this world that we live in. Um, you guys can come join me. It's on the uh, MG and Jump server, uh, the 12 man server. And you can find information for that probably somewhere on the YouTube, I don't know. Um, I would say I'll put the information there, but it's like very likely that I won't. But um, if you manage to come find me, that would be awesome and we can hang out and um, we can jump off of things together. Uh, or you can download the map BSP file from jump.tf, uh, which is the gold standard of TF2 jump resources. It pretty much has every possible thing you could ever hope for um, in regards to the craft, uh, including a pretty exhaustive map list with download links that are kept up to date, change logs, and uh, divided by a uh, difficulty tier, which is really great if you're trying to set up like a beginner's jump server or something like that. Um, so yeah, check out jump.tf, um, come play with dad sometime, and uh, I guess thank you for joining me today. I'll see you guys later.